Hello and welcome to my channel. So, in this tutorial, we will talk about this how to create troops. And in the next episodes, this will be the next titles. Mercenary clans, we will also put these new troops inside this clan. Items, we could apply this on troops and heroes. And on heroes, we will put them inside the existing clans. For the kingdoms we will we will need clans party template and settlement for that but we can also put the hero inside this new clan and these troops inside the party template we also need this one here so maybe i should put it on the mercenary clans but we can also oh, we we need this now in the culture, this is the longest video of all. This is the most difficult one. And for the the workshop, we can do this anytime. This is very simple. So first, let's talk about XML editor or the Notepad++. I haven't talked about this from my old video. But first, let me encourage you that XML editing is very easy. You don't need any programming background or knowledge you only need practice and perseverance that every time you have a bug you will try to fix it or <laughs> don't just give up so first you need to search this one on your browser notepad plus plus after you install it this should be white but it's straining my eyes especially on longer hour of modding so I have made it black. If you're interested, it is on. I think it's settings, style configurator, and in here I I use Obsidian, but this is the default, and it's very it's very bad for my eyes. Now let's go to plugins. We will install this XML tools. Normally, this is not installed. You will have to download it, but luckily, you can just type it here, XML tools. But since I have already it, I already have it, it will not appear here. But let's just say this is it. Once you press the install button, your Notepad++ plus plus will exit and it will download the update. You need to be connected to the internet. Now, what is the purpose of this XML tools? This is very handy, especially if you are working for so many lines that you committed some error. For example, you forgot to, to put an end tag. You will... Appreciate this once you once this save you and this saved me a lot. I will this red means it's not yet saved, so I'm gonna control S. But once I save it, it will prompt me that the end tag of module does not match the start tag, which is YXML. This should be the one. But I think this one, I'll just, oh, you can see here, dependent module is connected with the module, which should be not. There should be a tag here that will limit the, uh, it will limit the coverage of dependent module. That's what that's what's missing so you can just control z and save it again and it will be saved without a problem and for the id value we will talk about it after we created our module now let's start our creating new troops tutorial all-in-one tutorial I'm gonna name my mod all in one. Mm. 
And I'm gonna copy this. Control C. And then let's go to sandbox core. Since this is where the troops are hidden. I mean the troops is stored. I have copied this so I lost the text. But for now, let's create a module data. You don't need to memorize this one because if you go inside any official module, for example, sandbox core, you can see module data and sub module. I just copy the format. You can also copy it or you can you can just follow the template. Now we need the inside the sandbox core. We only need this SPNPC characters. But I'm gonna copy the equipment sets, body properties. Or maybe just this one to make it more simple. So let's go to our all in one. Inside module data should be our SPNPC characters. And let's copy this. Let's just try it. And paste it here. <laughs> we only need this one. I forgot to. I mean, I have deleted the apostrophe. I mean, you call this one forgot now in the version value you can put anything here 1.1.1 or in my case i always use the latest beta version especially if my mod is compatible with the latest beta now in the name you can name this whatever you want the ID is the only one that is very delicate that you should match the mod name or the folder name of your mod. Just call this all in all in one tutorial. This will appear on your launch on your launcher and default module means you cannot disable it. I think or it will already be enabled at the start single player true official should be false or you should just delete this line now in the dependent module you really don't need this but unless you don't want your user or the, the user of the mods you don't want them to mess up for example let's open our game All in one tutorial will not pass through the native because it is dependent on it. For example, we, I, I, I always have this better exception because this saved me a lot. For example, I use this as a dependent module for our mods. Better exception, control S and let's open it again. If I disable this, our mod will be disabled too. If we, if we enable if we enable our mod will enable the better exception and we cannot pass above better exception. Let's see here. Why does it want move down? If I move this, I'm I'm getting confused too. Don't worry, but that's what it is. Now our all-in-one tutorial. If I press play, you can see that there's a caution. Many people reacted to it to this, but it was because 1.5.8 and the better exception should be 1.5.8 but as you can see here 
better exception is 1.4.0 so it asks for that all in one tutorial is 1.5.9 only the better exception so if we remove this it will be gone but that's all there is to it